All right, Paul, let's imagine um, I'm alien Brad from a distant planet. I come into our solar system. What am I actually going to notice, right? You know, what is the thing that I'm drawn on? I say, ooh, I really got to go see that because that's the most important thing. Well, if I was an alien, look at the solar system, I'd say basically it's the sun. That's kind of disappointing. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> the sun is bigger, it's brighter, um, and not just slightly bigger. Here's a histogram, a pie chart of all the masses. Blue is the sun, and it little slices everything else. Wait, wait, so like Jupiter, Saturn, every planet, all the asteroids, all the comets, all the moons, every other thing I could think of, it's, it's just that? Yes. So 99.99, lots of nines percent of the solar system is the sun. So if I was an <laughs> alien, probably I'd say the sun and then go home. Because the sun is almost everything there is there. All right, well, let's say I'm a little bit more curious. Maybe I already, okay, I know there's a sun there, I know there's a star there, but what about the other stuff? There still has to be some value there. Yeah, so by and large, the solar system is the sun, but if you're really careful, you might think, and there's a bit of stuff around it. Yeah, what about the other stuff? And what else is there? Well, here's a picture of the sun and the other stuff. Okay, yeah, the sun is dramatically bigger than this other stuff. I mean, even Jupiter... It's, it's nothing compared to the sun. But let's imagine we, we don't care about the sun, we're just going to focus on the little fluffy crap going around it. We've come so, all this way to look at these little pointless things. And these little pointless things, we live on one of these little pointless things, so let's actually focus on these small pointless things. All right. And so now let's take the sun out and just look at the mass of everything else. Okay, so this is everything else So we're just taking a little slice at the top and expanded it out. And what you can <laughs> see is that... It's a lot of Jupiter. Mostly it's the sun. And if we've been really careful, it's the Sun and Jupiter. And then there's... Because about 75% of everything else is Jupiter. So Jupiter weighs more than all the other planets put together by a lot. And then even one of those other lots is still Saturn. And then... Yep. So if you add Jupiter and Saturn, you're up at you know, more than 90% of the solar system. So you could stop there. You say, okay, it's the Sun, and we're really careful. We're really careful aliens, so we look really hard, and there's also Jupiter and Saturn. And we would have had, we would have known the mass of the solar system and what's there to pretty much, as astronomers, we'd be very happy with that measurement. Yes, very accurate. And then most of that remaining 10% is Uranus and Neptune. So what you're saying is Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars are, are pretty, <laughs> me pretty meaningless. <laughs> we're, we're, we're the crumbs uh, of the solar system. Not even the crumbs. We're much smaller than crumbs. <laughs> well, talk about making us feel small, Paul. Yes. So again, here's all the planets to scale. We've now taken the sun out. Okay. And you can see how big Jupiter is compared to everything else. Yeah, I mean, it really does dominate. I mean, even compared to Saturn uh, and ice giants, Uranus and Neptune, it still really dominates the solar yeah. system. 